fully developed. Just like a flower. A flower comes to a point of full development, right? And I'm going to talk about that too. A, a, a flower comes to full development. No one waits for like halfway bloomed flowers and then try to take pictures of halfway bloomed flowers. Anybody do that? Anybody find half bloomed flowers beautiful? Everyone finds fully developed fruit and flowers as beautiful. Human beings are even more sophisticated. So why can't you find adults? A fully blown adult most beautiful. It is most beautiful. Mentally, physically, every way. Emotionally, every way. Something in you have made you feel, based on the laws that you've passed, you feel that a child is beautiful sexually. It's something about you that feels this way. Okay? It's something about you that feels this way. In Jamaica, before 1988, the age of consent was 14 years old. 14 years old is an undeveloped human being. Why would a man want to stick his penis in a 14-year-old vagina? And I'm going to be very honest right here, and I don't care if you like it or not. Culturally speaking, in Jamaica, everyone knows that most of the men there are very endowed, physically, sexually speaking. And I'm not saying this from uh, a gay perspective. This is something that everyone knows. Most people that are cultured know that Jamaican men are very endowed, they have endowed penises. So why are they having sex with 14-year-old girls with an endowed penis ripping apart a 14-year-old girl? Why were they doing that in the past before 1988? So that means all that good music you heard, all that good Jamaican music you heard, I ain't picking out no particular artist. That's a lot of Jamaican music. All that music you heard of good vibrations and all of that before 1988. They were having sex down there with 14 year, 14 year old girls. Not all the people down there. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's some big orgy. But you know, let's be real and let's be adults. We know some, if the age of consent was at 14 in Jamaica, right? You know somebody was using that law no matter if you like it or not. And it's, it's probably with the people who knew the law the most, which probably was the Jamaican government, the uh, Jamaican government officials. People that are, who know the, the uh, government officials are, the likes of them. Hey, who you mad at? Me or the truth? I know, that's why it comes true. It rings true with every passing year. You can't handle the truth. I ain't say you couldn't handle half truth and whole lies what you're trying to present. I could handle it. Didn't I handle it? I handled everything you did, didn't I? Because it wasn't the truth. You can't handle the truth. 1988, the Jamaican government passed a law for six for the age of consent at 16. 16, right? That's still undeveloped. Like I said, no one likes undeveloped fruit. No one likes undeveloped flowers. In adults, even, even though humans are more sophisticated, which some people say, well, humans are more sophisticated, you know, it's a way to like children. No, nope, that ain't gonna work, buddy. Humans are more sophisticated in the sense that by the time they bloom, all of it will be there, and that's what you should like. That's a seven. Hey, it's all there. At 18, it's all there. And if you, listen, this is my thing. If you choose the first age of an adult, I have no problem with that. Because you know what the problem, you know what, you know what people are going to say? Even if you chose 21 as the first age of an adult, 
there's going to be people that's going to nitpick with the first age. I don't care what the first age is of an adult. That's a seven hour boom. There has to be a first age. Okay. There has to be. And it's going to be people that have that find no problem with pursuing that first age. It's going to be people that uh, like that first age. That's the first age of an adult. That's the fresh age of an adult. It's nothing wrong, wrong with liking a fresh adult. That's a seven hour. There's nothing wrong with liking a fresh, an, a fresh adult. There's something wrong with liking a fresh child. You see the difference? There's nothing wrong with liking fresh fruit. There's nothing wrong with liking fresh flowers. Who wants old flowers? Who wants old fruit? Anybody go set out to get an old, a old orange? You get the fresh, you get the best orange. And here's the, here's the punchline. You don't get the, you don't get the unripe orange that's green. That's where we get the word green from. When somebody's naive, it points to when a fruit is, is green, it's not ripe. They say you're green, which means you're young. You don't set out to get that. You set out to get, you don't, you don't want it too old either. You set it out to get it when it's ripe. And that represents 18 and up. That's ripe. There's nothing wrong with that. That's, the first age is going to be persecuted. The first age of an adult is going to be persecuted when it comes to sex because people are just going to still feel that's young. But it is an adult, though. And that, and that first age is going to always be persecuted. There's nothing more wrong with wanting the first age of an, of an adult. There's nothing wrong with that. There, 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 it, it, controversy is going to come with that first age. Just look at it like that. But when you're under 18, no, you're, you're a child, buddy. There is a difference. It's called development. It's called development of mind and development of body. Something goes off in the brain at 18. It happened to me too. I, don't, I'm, I guess I'm very healthy. I noticed a difference without anyone telling me that I'm 18. I knew something happened. A light went off. That's how I describe it. That's exactly how I describe it. It's the only way I can describe it. And I left home at 18. Fell back on hard times here and there, but I left home the first time from my mom's house, who I was born of, when I was 18. I'd like you to know, guys, there's a difference, and you know it too. 